And what do we have in this run? We actually don't have any new starter decks, so I'll just return to the very first one, I suppose, and I'll just go through it all again, one more time. And uh, we have no boss rares, which is uh, not... I'm not that happy about, but uh, I guess so, we'll have to do with that. And I guess I'll just repeat the same thing I did previously, it would be all totem battles, and uh, it would be tipped scales, probably. I would rather have that than anything else from this uh, setup, honestly, so probably, yeah, probably something like this. So no boss rares anymore. Um, I can manage that. The problem is, rares do usually increase your chances, your quality, overall quality of the deck. And uh, normal cards, which you will get offered now, and you cannot really refuse that. They actually usually drop down the quality of your deck. So it's uh, quite a severe downgrade, in fact. So I just remember that I didn't really, like, look at this thing often enough. Uh, but, I mean, I should try to do it, like, once. Especially maybe now, because I already have a wolf. I really only need a flying ant. Maybe I can ac accomplish it. I'm just not sure if it even matters much. Like, if I just get a random card from the... I... Do I even want that? But maybe I should try it, you know, just to be sure that it's nothing that important anyway. Right. Keeping that in mind, what do we have? Oh, there is a sigil transfer immediately after that. Ooh. Ooh, interesting. Can I actually do something with that? Field mice. Definitely, definitely. Oh, that's so interesting. That's so interesting. There are two really good cards there. There is a Dire Wolf, which is really good potentially for Sigil. Double Strike is just wow, wow. <laughs> I can actually like transfer it on a normal wolf, and my wolf will just one shot, basically, <laughs> like any normal fight. It actually deals exactly six damage. So even with tipped scales, it's enough to one shot anyone. But I also have to take Field Mice, I think. Field Mice are just so good. It just too much value. Yeah, I think it has to be those two cards. And my basic idea is honestly to just go... What do we have next? This is a bad one. This is just a random card. I don't really like it much. Uh, I guess I'll go left, probably. I'm not 100% sure yet, though. So let's see if... Um... What can I do? It's either Field Mice or it's a Dire Wolf. And then, onto what? Onto what? Well, either Field Mice or Wolf. Do I want, like, Double Strike on my Field Mice with Fecundity? Uh, it seems like a bit of an overkill. No, I don't think so. I think I'll actually follow my initial plan. I'll just do a Dire Wolf onto a normal Wolf. And then I'll just do 6 damage, you know? I like that plan. <laughs> it's just <laughs> It just kills anything, pretty much. And uh, it just one-shots most of the fights, so... Seems good. Yeah, and uh, left just seems better. This path. Clearly the best choice, it seems like. Completely useless sigil. Okay, irrelevant. What do we have? Wild balls. Do we have a... Uh... No. <laughs> the answer is no. Um... Um... So, does it move to the right? No, inscribed in the sigil, so it will move to the left and Frozen Opossum will get tossed back. Okay, I think I just skip then. My last card is a wolf, right? It has to be the wolf. I'm not dying yet. And then the idea is that even... No, 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 he moves to the right. Okay, I'm just winning then. Yeah, but I cannot play any more cards, that's the issue. It's not the issue. Yeah, I just don't have enough squirrels, that's the problem. But it's not the issue exactly, I can just wait. It's not like I'm receiving any damage right now. Yeah, so the idea is I'm just playing a wolf. And I should deal 3 damage to his face, even. After killing this, this thing. 
Yeah, okay. And I, I guess I can do like some overkill. It really doesn't matter. No, I can't sacrifice Frozen Opossum. Okay. So, I still don't think I'm visiting Trapper this time, voluntarily at least, and I will actually visit a Trapper. It's not really an option this time. Okay, that's unfortunate. Maybe I should have uh, gone for the more overkill then. That actually might have been a mistake in that case. Not really what I want to do normally, but you know. Mm. Hand Tentacle is pretty strong. It just wins you some games sometimes. It's just very strong. I think I should take it. I can fecundity it, actually. Okay. I think it's too strong to skip, so... Okay. And then, um... And then what? Health. Interesting. Interesting. I could go for something like double the stoat's health, or bullfrog's health, for example. And then either I lose it, or I get an actual good card that I can use to block something. And like to actually, you know, be happy about having that card overall. Maybe even fecundity it later. Like, I don't know, look. The point is, there are like three outcomes that I can strive for, and two of them are interconnected. So one outcome is just I buff once something like Hand Tentacle, or a Wolf. I probably sacrifice Field Mice later, so I wouldn't buff them. But like, I just buff them once and that's it. But is it good enough? I don't think so. I don't think it's good enough. Or, I could go for either getting a Bullfrog 1-6, or losing a Bullfrog. And I think both of those outcomes are actually better than getting plus two health on either of those creatures. So I think I'll just go for that. Let's just do a double buff. That's fine. I'm I'm completely okay with losing it, actually. It might be the best outcome, to be honest, out of all of those. <laughs> okay, if I can get some overkill, that would be ideal. I would like to get a golden pelt, actually. Oh, submerged. That's very annoying. That is very annoying. I can't really do anything with the Selk anymore then. I'm not sure if I will be able to go for... I can just one-shot this fight if I use this bottle of Squirrel. But I don't really need to. Oh yeah. So I'm still not dead yet, next turn. Let's play a wolf for now. And let's, uh, the problem is I'll just kill the mole and that's about it. I cannot really deal any damage at this moment. Okay, now I kinda need to count. What is my last card? Hand tentacle. Hand tentacle, okay. I still need a squirrel though. I can't really play much. Well, I can play a stoat, actually. Hmm. I'm killing him next turn regardless. Whatever I do, pretty much. I don't think it matters if I play anything or not. Hmm. It's not a lot of overkill, that's the issue. Yeah, but... I can't really do much about that. Okay, I'll just have to live with that. Um, can't really do that much. I don't think I, I could have done like more overkill. Don't think so. How much do I have? Three. <laughs> Not a lot of options. So you apparently can buy the Skinner Knife by the way. By the way, I'm not actually sure what it does, I don't exactly remember, but I don't have money for it anyway. So I can't like, just skip, right? I can't skip. Yeah, I have to take this. I don't want another one for sure. One is like, okay -ish, I guess, but the problem is now I will have to visit the trader. I really don't want to. 
but um, I will have to now. Moving? No, hell no. Uh, insects? Insects head? I'm not using ravens usually, so this is the most useful one, I suppose. Not a big fan. Mm, okay. Okay, I can kill the raven egg. I should skip, probably. Let's kill the raven egg. Alright, and I can do some overkill as well. Though I really don't think it helps me any at this point. At this point, not anymore really, but yeah. Already visited the trapper, so should be relevant. Who knows though? Okay. Can I get maybe a there? Oh, I have to take this. Well, I have to. No text anymore, by the way. So the binary, by the way, that uh, appeared the first time this option happened. It translated to deep beneath. That was it. Uh, let's take this anyway. No idea what that is, but... Okay. <laughs> That's the thing now. Um, show what do we have? Power. Interesting. Either wolf or field mice. Getting more power on the wolf is not actually bad. It's a game ender for sure. Field mice, like, I am transferring the sigil eventually, so... Maybe I should go for a stoat? What if, what if I, like, double buff the stoat? Actually, let's do that. Let's double buff the stoat. If it dies, it dies, it's fine. Okay, that's fine. But, like, I don't really care about it anyway. But then I actually do have a... Thinner deck, which is pretty good. Yeah, and I still have to go for the wolf, and obviously I can do only one buff on it, since I do have to take it back. Okay. Now. That's a trap, huh? Which is uh, potentially a little bit of a problem, but I don't think so, I think I'm just one-shotting it. <laughs> I think I'm just, like, one... Uh, killing it with one attack. Oh, it's a random card? Interesting. Is it like random every time? So... Okay, let's just win. I think it's a good idea overall to win the game. Like this. And uh, I just win next turn. If I understand it correctly, the mechanics of it. So, I don't have any pelts, but I will get one pelt for free. And I'll be able to uh, get rid of this opossum. Yeah. No, don't do me. Click this text. This text, man. This text. I still am winning, though, I think. I still think I'm winning. Yes. I just was clicking to get rid of the text. Uh, whatever. I'm still winning. So it doesn't matter. Well, that was easy. The problem is, if I draw, don't draw the wolf at some point, that might get bad. Okay, so those are normal cards then? Wait a moment. You must excuse me. These are not rare cards. The meddlesome bat. Uh, oh, those are horrible. Horrible. Bat maybe though? Maybe bat? I hate all of those. Pronghorn is okay, potentially, but it's another two-blood creature. I don't actually have a lot of sacrifice for her at the moment. Um, Bat is okay-ish, kinda. Not, not a big fan. I don't know, I hate them both. I'm not sure which one is better. Sigil transfer. What do we have? Totem? I'm not sure what this is, but uh, this is a totem. So, sigil transfer. 
fecundity onto something, maybe. What can we get though? First of all, add there. Mantis. Mantis is interesting. If I get fecundity the mantis, that could be fun. Okay. Okay, I can dig it. Uh, add the... So, we have Angler this time. Angler I'll just kill with my wolf, pretty much. Oh, Prospector would be nasty, actually. Nasty. I have fish hook. Uh, I should be able to get rid of him with that. But, like, I cannot actually use my wolf against Prospector. Oh, Prospector is not good. That's actually rough. I'll need to think about it. Well, regardless though, Mantis might be the best choice. And maybe then Fecundity it. So, and then if I can uh, buff its uh, power a little bit even, it might be good enough. It's not what my deck tries to do currently. I'm just trying to play the wolf pretty much. But none of those options help with that really. Yeah, I don't think I can get anything that actually helps that much. I could use Mud Turtle. I could like Sigil transfer Mud Turtle's thing onto the Hand Tentacle. That's not a joke, by the way. That's actually pretty good. I mean, it can have like 1 HP, but I don't really need more. That's enough, really. It can just kill like two things, pretty much, and be immune while doing that. Let's actually try this, you know what? That sounds pretty good. And keeps my deck relatively small-ish. So that, you know, uh, the consistency is still there. Like this. Now, that is actually a legit alternative to my wolf at this point. It's not bad. Can copy something. A wolf? Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> okay, then. Blocking reptilians. Sure. Rat King this time. That's fine. Mm. So yeah, can they just do something like this, in fact? And just start dealing damage? Hmm. <laughs> so, the funny thing is, uh, the way it currently goes, maybe I should have drawn another squirrel, honestly. Yeah, but I do need to, uh, I actually have enough damage now to overshadow what he does currently. But, yes, but. What are my cards? Field mice potentially is possible. I think I should just play a Red King and kill Alpha. Yeah, so this will attack for two, but it will kill Adda and Rattler. So Squirrel, Squirrel, Red King, kill the Alpha, and then I can kill all, uh, all of the rest of the things. And uh, still, I'm not dead yet, so that's good. And just kill all of the stuff. Hmm. Mm. I can win. So the biggest overkill I can do it is with the wolf, and then I also can use. Oh, I see. Oh no, that's actually good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I don't really need the overkill though, that's the thing. But yeah. Well, and then if I use the bat as well, then we just do the most overkill possible. It really doesn't matter though. I'm not visiting Trapper anymore. Just in case though. What do we have? Yeah, so that's to be left. I don't really care about totems as much, but copying is just so good potentially. Um, so I need one blood. I need one blood. Mantis, okay. That's fine. Could have been worse.
This is interesting. So, uh, naturally, I would think of the wolf, right? But here's the thing. Hand tentacle cannot be botched up. Like, whatever it does with hand tentacle, it's always good, because it's all about sigils. And if it just copies sigils, this is good enough already. Like, attack is pretty much set, and health cannot be worse anyway, so... This is a legit option. It's either wolf or hand tentacle. I am okay with either. I think, I think realistically the best chance I have for winning is with hand tentacle specifically. Because wolf can be botched up and it's not clear if I will be able to play it always. While this thing I can actually play always, yes. And it's useful, like with the sigil for sure. Porcupine insects. Skunk. Mm, cannot really do anything at the moment. Can like put a skunk there, but... Yeah, it just blocks though. It doesn't really help. Okay, hand tentacle is good. Let's use it against one B, I guess. Hmm. I think I'll just give up this one. I'll see if I can, like, uh, do something about it, but it doesn't seem so, really. More hand tentacles. Doesn't really help. Well, I can kill the mantis and the beehive. Wait, I'm not. I'm not able to get the beehive, apparently. Okay. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm just dying there. If I, like, even if I use something, I probably am dead. It's, uh, it's fine. I would rather be dead. I could have, like, done something about this fight, but really it's not worth it. I would rather just start the next one. The next fight, I mean. Don't really want to use my items, so whatever. In this game, you don't really get anything from wind fight, from one fights, even, uh, you know. Even if you do win them, you don't get anything, so who cares, really. Uh, I'll definitely go for Sigil Transfer. Maybe Mantis onto, like, a bat, for example. That could be okay-ish. Okay, maybe. Or maybe I get something from this place. That's also an option. Cockroach. Uh, cockroach is too good to pass up. I have to take it. Yes, I have to take it. The, hmm, the problem is, though, what do I do with it? There are some choices later. Okay, but now though, now what do I do? Fecundity? Unkillable? Probably doesn't work even. It's completely pointless even. <laughs> like why? Like why though? Maybe steal Mantis bat? And then I'll just transfer Cockroach onto something else? I just, I don't really need to do it right now. But Mantis onto the bat. That's not horrible. Or maybe, like, Mantis onto the Cockroach? And then use the Cockroach uh, buff its stats somewhat, and then just start using it as a weapon, actually. Or Cockroach onto the Mantis, and then buff Mantis. All of those options are, like, decent. Neither of them is really good. They're both... They're all... All of them. All of them are decent. I think the one I like most is probably Cockroach onto the Mantis. Okay. Okay, let's do that. You can, like, use Rabbit Pelt? Wow. <laughs> That's actually not completely horrendous. <laughs> Unkillable rabbit pelt is actually somewhat like... I, I don't know if I would say useful, but it's something. Okay, let's just, let's just get a good mantis instead. 
Then I can buff it. Like, it really needs some power campfires now. That's the issue. Um, so it's a choice. Okay. It's either... Okay. This is clearly better. Let's, let's do the fight first. I still need to win it. I actually do need to win it now. Ravens uh, with blocking. Okay. I might have to use some items if I... If I get unlucky with um, draws, which I kinda... Kinda am getting a bit unlucky with that. I can block the coyote and then kill it with mantis potentially. Okay. So... I mean, for now, I don't see any point of doing anything else other than just blocking the coyote. I don't really have anything anyway. And let's just draw. Pat. So I can kill coyote for sure. I can also just get Mantis there and do some damage and block Coyote one more time. But it will just lose me a creature. Hmm... This one is rough. I do need to kill it or do something about it. Well, I don't need to. Technically, I could just wait one more turn and just use pliers instead. But I think I'm supposed to kill the coyote there. Aren't those flying, by the way, kingfishers? If they're flying, they will not be able to kill my mantis anyway, so it's actually kind of okay-ish. Actually, though, if they are flying, yeah, 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 okay. Maybe. Yeah, they are flying. I can block the river Ota. Uh, how much bones do I have? So I'm dead there if I don't do something. But I can do something. I can. Probably. Let's draw a normal card. And tentacle. So now here is the question. I kind of need to break the squirrel bottle. It's either squirrel bottle or I can do pliers. No, I still I still need to do... No, no, no. I can do pliers. I can do pliers and it will still be okay. But the question is... Can I do the squirrel bottle? Will it still move? No, it doesn't move. Oh, that's actually unfortunate. They don't move... Um... Oh, because they are not even... Right, right, right. No, no, they are ravens. They are ravens, right? They have to be ravens. But they don't, like, get the sigil when they are in the submerged state. So, that's unfortunate. Hand Tentacle will be able to... ...to stay there for a while, actually. You know, I think what I should do... I think... I think I... I think I win. I think I just win. Okay, yeah, I think I win. So, here is the idea. I just uh, use something instead of Mantis. Specifically, I put this Hand Tentacle there. And then I just uh, set my Mantis on this spot, and I just replay it every turn, pretty much, and I win. Because I do more damage than he does to me, and he cannot play anything anymore. That's it. Like, that's it. I mean, it's just uh, 3 damage per turn, and I do 4 damage, so I win. Unless, like, I misclick somewhere. <laughs> but this actually kills him next turn, even, in fact. And that's one of the reasons I don't like Submerged. Though, to be fair, as a player, I am able to replay them. Actually, he does two damage because my Mantis dies and uh, gets one damage onto him. And yeah, uh, this is one of the reasons I don't like Submerged, though. Though, as a player, you can sacrifice them if you have uh, right cards and, you know, it's not really a problem. But yeah, they can... Uh, do bad things as well, for sure. So, right side is just better, because I also... 
I get a better choice, first of all, out of 8 cards, I think. And then I also lose the Pelt card, which is also good. And then I would... Uh, I'm not sure if I would rather have Sigil Transfer or like Campfire and something else, but this is just better. This is just better. Right side is clearly the choice there. There will be another Sigil Transfer, by the way. So let's think, considering that, what do I want? Good question. Mud Turtle, maybe. Mud Turtle is never bad. But I cannot really transfer it anywhere. I can transfer Fecundity on one of those things. I don't like any of those things as a base for the creature. Direwolf Pup, maybe, but no, not really. Fecundity, Direwolf Pup, no, that sounds horrible. Um, so do I just transfer something out of that creature onto someone else? But I only have a bat and the field mice as potential candidates. What if I... What if I... Mud Turtle onto the Field Mice? Okay? No, 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 but hear me out, though. We have a campfire right now, right? So, the idea would be that I get the blocking onto the Field Mice, and then either I get attack on that campfire, and then I buff, buff Mantis, which is pretty good, or I get health, and then I buff Field Mice. And then we get like 2-4 field mice, which can block as well. Not block, yes, block, block, block. I do transfer block. So, isn't it good? Sounds okay. I don't know if I, don't know if I would say good, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, yeah, I, I... Maybe. Okay, okay, I mean, that's a plan. It's just out of what I am offered currently. I don't know if I like any other option there. So yeah, let's go with that. But first though, let's see... I don't need mycologists, right? No, mycologists will just probably offer to um, do this. Duplication. I don't really need that. To get rid of the duplication more precisely. So let's go to the campfire. Either I buff Mantis or I... Yeah, it's field mice then. Let's just do field mice. Yeah. It actually doesn't matter which one do I do. In fact, <laughs> if I'm doing that anyway, in fact, it would be better to buff Mud Turtle. Because it is actually, it belongs to one of the tribes, while Field Mice doesn't. And they have identical stats in every other way. So... Yes... Maybe I do... No, it's... Uh, but it's irrelevant though. If I do Fecundity onto it, then why? 2-4 is enough. It's 2-4 with defense. Like, why, why would I need more? It doesn't get stronger because of that. So let's just do field my sacrifice onto the mud turtle. Well, it gets me some value, I suppose. I know I don't know if I'm so happy about that, but it's okay, I guess. Now. So the interesting thing is, if I just get a wolf, I do get a smoke, right? No. Really? But okay. Um, did I just skip? I can play the hand tentacle, but I don't need to yet. No, it's okay. I think... Um, okay, I think it's fine. Um, I'm just playing the hand tentacle so that it will start dealing damage and it will ensure me winning at some point, whatever else he does, pretty much. And uh, I will just protect it with one of the squirrels, that's it. I'll actually block this kingfisher, why not? Just do this. And the next phase is, uh, well, we'll see, we'll see. 
We'll see when we get there. I need my wolf. Kinda, that's the issue. Let's not do that, let's just win instead. Uh, let's get something, yeah. Wolf is good. Let's kill him. Yes. Then let's see what happens. So if I understand correctly, yes. Now, well, first of all, I can just win. So let's do that. But even if I couldn't win, um, as I know from my previous run, I paid attention for it, uh, to it. So the idea is I could just replay the wolf right there and I would kill the shark as well. Immediately after killing the bucket. So even if, uh, even if, you know, there were no like empty spaces, I would still be able to go through and then kill him next turn. So that would still work just fine. But that's the easiest way, obviously. Good enough. And then Prospector. Prospector would be a bit problematic with this deck, but... Hmm. I'll just need to think about it. It's not that bad. Oh my god. I have to take this. I hate so much other options. Yeah. Has to be Mud Turtle. I can actually combine it now, potentially, with my Ecologists, if I have uh, such an option. Oh my god. Okay, left is clearly better. There is actually a copying option. And right is Trapper. Please no. So it would have to be left. Oh, oh, can I, can I, can I check my deck before I get... Uh, no, yes, yes, okay. Uh, sigils, sigils. Not a lot of health. But some health. I think six health would be difficult to get. Power maybe. But I do have two cards with zero power. It counts as zero, so... Yeah, it's actually not easy to do. Kin, kin is not easy. Power might be possible. Sigils is probably the easiest one, so let's try that. That's already enough. Okay. Mm, that's horrendous. Okay. What is this? Damn builder. What? What? That's not horrible, but the problem is like it's very it's it's bl it blocks a lot. Yes, but it's not what my deck does currently. Maybe I just go for this one instead. So I assume it mirrors the stats. Like it's it has good sigils, good stats. I can use it somewhat. I'm not in love with it, but it's okay. Quills, stinky. Bifurcated Strike, to be clear, is also not that horrible, but it's too blood, it's too difficult to play. Let's just take this one. I can, like, play it, it can block something. It's not horrible. Uh, I think I just go left. I don't want Trapper for sure, and uh, left also continues uh, copying things, so <laughs> this is clearly better. Um, this one? This one is honestly just bad. I think I'm just killing it. Also, I want to see what happens. Um, I could also sacrifice the bat. Bat is also eh. But yeah, let's kill this one. Nah, no, nothing really happened. Whatever. Don't see what that is after that. Okay. Oh, fight probably. Those are fights. Yeah. Oof, porcupine, canines. What do we have? Coyote. Uh. <laughs> uh. Uh. Well, actually, I can use my newfound tentacle to do some damage there. Well, it will not do damage necessarily, but it will block at least. It's pretty horrible, honestly. Well, I do need to draw. I do need to draw. I'll need to replace something instead of it for sure. No, not necessarily. It actually blocks just fine right now. 
But I will die if I'm, if I'm not replaying anything. I can kill the porcupine instead. No, then I also just die. Do I just accept that I die for now? Is that the idea? I don't really like that idea. Can block and kill the coyote, but uh, not a fan. So I need to draw definitely wolf. I cannot really play it. That's the problem. Well, yes, but. Do I just die there always, if I don't use pliers? I don't want to use pliers there. Do I just die? If I kill Coyote, then Sparrow goes in. I cannot actually kill both Coyote and Sparrow. I think if I just skip there, my Hand Tentacle dies right after killing Coyote. The damage doesn't go through, I'm pretty sure. So, either I, if I skip, I take 3 damage, I die. If I replay my Tentacle... It, it's, it, it will not die after killing Coyote, but it just does not deal enough damage. Okay, let me ask this. Can I win guaranteed? In case I play... In case I use pliers. Can I win guaranteed? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, so what I can do... I can replay my hand tentacle... To the left, for example, or to the right, doesn't really matter. Then the idea is that I will kill the Sparrow. I will get hit by both of those things. I will be at minus 9. And then next turn I draw the Squirrel and play the Wolf instead of the Tentacle. And if it gets blocked, then I just play it at some other place. Like uh, kill another Sparrow, for example, or something. Or even actually go for the Coyote. Yeah, okay. I think I win always if I use players. So I will do that, but I'm not happy about it. Now, I think the best idea would be to go for Porcupine. And take the hit. I'm still killing it, so it's good enough. Like this. And let's just see what happens. So, uh, I need to draw a squirrel. I need to play my wolf. I think I kill coyote. So, I deal... Yeah, enough damage to kill both of them. I don't die. I have 2 HP. Then 4 damage gets through... I'm at minus 5, I'm being dealt 3 damage, and then I kill him next turn. Right? Is that actually enough? Yeah, it's enough. I deal 4 damage, I receive 3, and it's exact lethal next turn. Unless I'm wrong somewhere, this should be lethal. Like this. I don't think I'm wrong. Yes, it's lethal. Okay, good. Uh, I can do... No, I can't do more. No, I can't do more. <laughs> right? Yes. Let's just skip, you know? I can do one more damage, but just in case there are like some sigils that I'm forgetting about or something, that's definitely lethal. I don't need any overkill whatsoever. There is no reason for it, so let's just not be stupid. Okay, uh, this will be a trader again. I will have to go for it. I don't actually have anything to trade for, but whatever. Uh, what do we have? Blood? Sigils, yeah, probably sigils. Let's go sigils. The most realistic one. That's enough already. Okay. Hmm. That's the weirdest grizzly I've ever seen. I can't even play it. <laughs> but if I could, though. Just imagine if I could. 
That's like the worst card to have those kind of sigils. Maybe Aura Yuli would be the worst, but yeah. Uh, Elk phone. Interesting. So when I play it, it actually immediately gets blocked by dams. <laughs> it's not actually horrible, kinda. Yeah, okay, I can use it somewhat. Or just moving Raven that is unaffected by Stinky and Touch of Death. Sounds bad. But Grizzly, I, uh, I'm just... I cannot play it, really. Yeah, I cannot play it with my deck, so it will have to be Elk Phone. Also not a huge fan of that, but whatever. Oh, there is a... Oh, 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 oh. There is my Ecologist. I cannot... Okay, I can just uh, look at my cards like that. So, uh, my Ecologist. I can uh, double Mud Turtles. That's probably what I will do, right? Then, what am I copying right now? Tentacle again. Probably just Tentacle again. Maybe Wolf at this point? Tentacle is good, though. Tentacle is really good. <sighs> I think I should go for the tentacle. It's just so good, man. Come. It can change sigils. It's not a bad sigil, though. I'm actually okay with this one. It might be even better, honestly. Well, probably not better, but it's okay. Running Ravens. Ugh. Ugh, I hate it. Hate it. Can I can I lose still? Yes, I can lose, so it's fine. I can actually lose this one if I choose to. Um, let's kill this Raven. No, I cannot kill it because it will run. God damn it. Let's just not kill this Raven then. Okay, well then. Blocks with Porcupine. Porcupine will actually kill my stuff. Not happy about that. I can like play Elk Fawn. Does that really do anything though? Well, I need to do damage still. That's still an issue. Yeah, I might lose this one. Might choose to lose this one, in fact. If I, if I get the wolf, I can actually play the wolf. I can play the wolf now. It's a bit uh, convoluted, but I can do it. Um, yeah, I think I'm just doing this. And if I'm not drawing wolf, I just lose then, I think. It's fine. This is good. I can actually get something. There is a good loss, by the way. <laughs> like, at least I get the... Do I always lose? Do I always lose, though? I don't... I ac actually, though... No, no, I always lose. I cannot kill Raven and... Uh, I cannot get enough damage to kill Raven. Oh, scissors are so good! Oh, that's incredible. I'm okay with losing now. So, the idea is I can just replay something, or, or I could have replayed something to get more bones, and then play the bat as well, but it doesn't really help me. I need to kill both of those creatures, and I cannot do that anymore if I play anything else. Just its power will drop just low enough so that I cannot get through anymore. And then they just deal enough damage to kill me. So yeah, I'm just giving up this one. It's okay. I'm actually okay with this. Like, I got scissors out of this fight. <laughs> this is much better than I, than what I could have hoped for. And uh, I can win now, no problem, any such fight just by using scissors pretty much. So, what do I do there? Now that I have no pelts? Yeah? Nothing? Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, what is this? What, what, what is this? What, what? Oh, Sigil. It's Sigil. Okay. Uh... I... I don't know. I actually don't have cards. If I'm like, uh, doubling the Mud Turtle... The only thing I can sacrifice is, like, bat, or something onto the bat. 
or I could go for totems. But I'm still going there, though. I kind of do want to double mud turtles. Left path is just very, very weird. I don't like it. Okay. Let's do mud turtles. No. <laughs> no. I do want to get more power onto this mud turtle. It's kind of important. Okay. Mm, I'll get one more item. So I can actually play something if I don't like it, but I would like to have both of those items. Those are premium, pretty much. Running K9. Uh, those are not K9, though. Mantis. Just start doing damage, really. It's okay. Oof. Oof. <laughs> I can easily win. <laughs> That's the good news about it, if I just fish hook it. I can block it with Mud Turtle, but I don't have... Um... I see. I can actually block it with uh, Mud Turtle right now. So Squirrel, then I play Elk Fawn. Like this. What the hell is happening? Oh my god. God, what is what is happening with this dam? This dam just lifts, bro. What the hell? Look at this. I even got another rabbit, and it also evolves. That's complicated. Okay, and this rabbit creates dams, so. Uh, I, I don't know, this rabbit? Uh, okay, a anyway, a anyway, uh, the idea was to play the mud turtle anyway, like this. Why did I get rid of goddamn rabbit that created dams? I want more dams. Well, whatever, whatever, just skip. So, this uh, mud turtle- Oh no, it runs away! <laughs> Uh, this is the worst dam I've ever seen. Uh, okay, so... Uh, well, I'm winning currently, so it's fine. Uh, let's just get a squirrel, let's get the rabbit, let's just play the mud turtle there. <laughs> it, is, it didn't even... Oh, it, it actually has attack now. <laughs> Whatever. Just go through, and we're winning next turn. Mm, yeah, it's good enough. Good enough, good enough. So, I actually... I should have thought about, like, prolonging the fight. I could have, like, tried to get another item and maybe use it instantly, but it doesn't really matter. Whatever. Uh, before, can, 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 I, can, I look, can I look up? Okay. I'll still be able to look up, even after I unpack it, right? Okay. Let me see. Let me see this. I'll just get a sigil transfer right after that. I think I have to pick cockroach. I think it's not a choice. I have to. And then um, I guess I'll just transfer cockroach onto the bat. It's definitely better than totem. I mean, not a lot of choice, right? So. It's like an upgraded version of the cockroach that can fly. Is it even an upgrade? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Boulder. Bones? Fan. Fan is actually somewhat useful with my setup, yes. I'm thinking about Prospectum. It's definitely winnable. There are a lot a lot of things I can do about it, but I do need to think about it for sure. Let's get fun. Let's go. Okay. 
Prospecta as the third fight is... Sometimes it's rough. Sometimes it's rough. Do I have hand tentacle? Good. So I'll just uh, kill the wolf for now. That seems like a good idea. Mm, just draw some cards. It's okay. I'll kill the wolf. I'll let him kill the boulder, probably. Can just replay the mud turtle, for example. That's also fine. I can, like, use fan in and... Uh... Yeah, that's a horrible idea. Let's not do that. Maybe I'm just replaying the hand tentacle, then? Well, this hand tentacle will just die if I replay it. So that sounds bad. Why would I do that? Okay, let's just skip for now. So it will get killed, and then what do I do? I can play Mantis there, for example, kill the wolf cup and start killing this thing as well. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's my plan. Okay, that sounds decent-ish. Oh. It does not come into play yet. Oh. Oh. Okay, then I think I'll just replay the Hand Tentacle to get the Pack Mule stuff. And let this Wolf Cub come in. I don't really want to finish the fight yet. Yeah, I... yeah, but I, I do want my items though, I don't really want to do it yet, so... It's okay. Can I get like one more Squirrel? Good. I... do I have a Wolf? Do I have a wolf? Yes. I do win then, right? If I just skip. Pretty sure. Yeah, I just win. That's fine. And then uh, we draw like completely irrelevant what that would be. And just play a squirrel. And play another squirrel. And play a wolf. There. And just win the game. Sounds good. And let's get to the boss fight now. So I have very good items. That really should be enough. Those are really, really, really good. This uh, should be easily enough to get to the moon. And then the moon fight itself is too easy, really. It shouldn't matter. Mud turtle? If I get another sigil transfer... I don't even have creatures to transfer it to. Yeah, but like, everything aside from the Mud Turtle is kinda useless, no? Yes, but Mud Turtle is also useless. Yes, but... but what? Mantis? Not Mantis, though. Bat is completely useless. Yeah, I guess let's just go Mud, mud Turtle. Maybe I can block something with that at least. Ah, no. it's, it's useless regardless. So, what do we have? Totems... well, definitely not items, not trader. It's either totem, I can finish my totem, but... What was my totem? Like, I had like a head of something, like a... Hooved? Or something? Oh, it's completely useless, I don't know. Sigil is... doesn't do anything, though. Yeah, Sigil doesn't do anything. So it has to be... I mean, that's literally... The totems... Is literally the only thing that does anything. So... I guess so. Oh, it's insect's head. Death touch or instantly come into play. Do I have insects? Mantis. Interesting. Death touch mantis. Okay. Okay. That's actually not completely useless. I don't really want corpse eater, I think. So just do the death touch mantis. That's like not not irrelevant, honestly. Can be played. Okay. Let's go then. Yeah. Alright, so... Wolf. 
Oh, let's just win. Okay, I win. <laughs> so, all I really need is one of those things. Like, either scissors or fish hook, and I just win. Actually, though, when I draw wolf... Well, and the fan. I need a fan and something else, and this fight is over. The fight. Not like, not the stage. The fight, actually, is over. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to kill the moment. Then I need to play the smoke, the squirrel, play the wolf. It's kind of a relevant wear. The only thing that could help is that if it uh, gets blocked by something that can block flying as well. Maybe I should have used fish hook actually because of that. Yeah, yeah. Then I could still scissors it, the stump. Like, if this stump was able to block flying, then I would still be able to scissors it. But now I don't have scissors, so, you know, that doesn't really work. What? Oh, right. Dialogue. So, that's fine. Uh, let's just get some creatures. And let's just do flying. And uh, we're done. So, the moon fight is a joke, pretty much. I don't really care about it at all. Unless, like, you know, something changed, but I don't think anything changed. And, um, I can just draw some squirrels for now, and I think I can just skip, right? I shouldn't receive any damage. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's it. So... I have, like, a lot of stuff that can be just, uh, blocking it for a very long time, if I need to. Yeah, like this, for example, I guess. Like, uh, play the elk phone. <laughs> what is this? I can't, man. What is this? Okay, let's just play like, uh, I don't know, mud turtle, I guess. Something like this. Whatever. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't notice. God damn. <laughs> Sounds about right. Um, okay, just skip. I can actually buff it further. I can, like, play a turtle. Okay, good enough. A bat. Sure. And next turn it's death. It's dead. Well. Okay. And let's finish it. Well, pretty much, yeah. Like a fan and the scissors. Like two good two good items, or appropriate items at least. Like, that's enough basically to win the last fight. If you can get them uh, to that fight. So, yeah. I'm addicted to Lashy's inscription. It's far from perfect though. Some really unbalanced shit in here, to be honest. I have my Ouroboros up to over 100, thanks to the stupid stupidly broken fecundity sigil combo. I decided that I'm going to work on making this balanced, and maybe a bit of an actual challenge. I'm making a mod. I wonder what Lashy will think. We get... What is this? Mule Worm. When Mule Worm is sacrificed, it's, it adds its stat values to the card it was sacrificed for. Two bones. That's very cool. That's very, very cool. There's, there's a lot of interesting stuff you can do with this. Either like uh, you can sigil transfer or you can just leave it like that. There's a lot of interesting cool stuff. Okay, I like this a lot. But it doesn't transfer sigils, right? Only stats. Oh, yeah. And the new starter deck with Mantis God and two ringworms. I see. That is not like... Uh, it's fixable, kinda. I mean, if you think about it, if you think about it real hard, okay? Ringworm is just the worst version of a stoat, okay? Like, we have a stoat, which is pretty bad, but it's like, ringworm is just a bit worse than that. But like, it's it's still, it's it's fixable though, so. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with this deck, I think. 
uh, eh? sounds all right. And another one, more difficult, more and stronger opposing creatures in all battles. Well, that's uh, <laughs> that sounds pretty bad, but I will do that. So let's do it in the next round, though. And for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you there.